Hi, friends. Well, this will be another short one because the bandwidth in Quartzsite still sucks. Uh, maybe in about a week, uh, some of these half a million people will move on to somewhere else. But in the meantime, there's just too many people using the Internet for it to be very useful. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. So I'm up here on the roof of my RV to give you an idea of what I'm talking about when I say there's lots and lots of RVs here. A little windy for a drone. I'll do some of that later. I'm now with my Monaco friends. There's about 50 of us here in this circle. But when I'm talking about a half a million RVs, Look here, I don't know if it's showing up in the video, but it's as far as you can see that direction and that direction. Clear out to those mountains. Those little white spots are RVs. This is La Posa South. It goes all the way to the mountains that way. As far as you can see that way. That's Highway 95 over there. That's the uh, Integra bunch over there. I talked to a guy over there last year. The Integras were parked there, and we, the Monacos, were right here. And the Integra guy said, oh, we parked real close to the Monacos just to keep you guys humble. Thank you very much. Anyway, you know, there is a BLM rule. It's rule number six in the supplemental rules says RVs should not park closer than 15 feet together. I'm going to make a speech at the campfire tonight telling them I'm getting out my tape measure bright and early in the morning and there will be citations. And you can pay right over here at the green Monica Windsor. I'll take cookies if you don't have cash. Well, I decided to get out my California duster. California car duster and go back up there because I noticed that my solar panels are totally dusty. If you've never seen a California duster, let me show you what it does. This is the hood of my car. Just that easy. The car is waxed. How about that? Anyway, I'm going back up on the roof because my solar panels are very dusty. Hi. I never realized how bad the wind sound was in this next little part of the clip before I was editing it. And I have fixed that. So it might be the last time, I hope, that you hear wind noise. I put a little mustache or a goatee on this camera. I took a cat's paw and cut it and kind of velcroed it onto the camera there. And I've tried this out and it works really well. Apologize for the wind noise in the next 30 seconds. Well, you're not going to hear the wind noise and the generator noise was so bad I decided to just do a voiceover for this. I have a thousand watts of solar panels up here and this California duster takes the dust off very well. There's always a lot of dust here in the desert. You can see how well it's working. That bird crap there, that's going to be a problem. If you shut down one part of a cell, it shuts down more of the panel. See some mud there. I, I think that's from dew in the morning and birds with their muddy feet up there or something. I don't know. i got to come up and wash that off with some Windex or something. You can really see the before and after there. Works well. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.